Hey, welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to do this quick video to help you guys out because I've been trying to work this out for the past hour and it's taken me ages looking through different forums, asking on Facebook groups, looking at YouTube tutorials, you know, learning little bits about everything. So I just, basically what I've been trying to do is I've got this uh, serum, I've got serum open and I'm trying to record some Brahms, basically I'm creating Brahms. I've got a, a snare hit, my, my own snare sample that I've recorded. I've put it into serum, chopped it up, you go. This kind of thing. And basically what I want to do is, because I've learned this from Karel Pesoda, who's a uh, great uh, trailer sound designer, what I'm trying to do is record this onto an audio track. Because then, while I'm, while I'm recording, I can edit parameters, edit parameters like this, for example, uh, and not have, not have to worry about changing it later, later on, you know, with the automation. Uh, side of things in logic uh, like this which I just really don't want to have to do I just want to be able to you know record and as I'm recording and as I'm you know doing this I want to then be able to click and change things here you know change it up maybe change what I'm doing with the effects in serum that kind of thing this is how you do it or at least how I found that you do it so I'll show you what I've got going on actually let's create it from scratch so let's do a new software instrument. Let's do it from scratch. Let's just call this Serum Brom, whatever. Now I'll load up Serum here. Let me just show you. Let's just keep it on this patch for now. And say I want to do that kind of stuff, you know. What I need to do now is, because if I, if I record it, let me show you this. If I record just now, doing it to the click but and then I start moving things and actually I realize and then I think no it actually sounds best like that when I listen back to it it's all gonna sound the same because it's all MIDI data it's not recorded to audio so it's not actually uh, remembering those uh, changes that I made to the parameters so what we have to do is basically send this to a bus so I've done bus one serum and you've got to turn it all the way up so you can select any bus it doesn't matter you could do a whole new one so let's just do a new one so I can show you how this looks aux two let's just turn this up sorry aux one yeah bus two okay now we create a new audio track now once we're here we uh, the input for it, we're going to select as bus two serum brown. There we go. Okay, so that's now our input. So if I select both of these to record, if I now record, all right, through here, this is what we get. Now, if we listen to the MIDI, it's going to be just uh, the same, no changes. As you can see, but if we listen to the audio, we have the changes now. Now, here's an important thing that Logic doesn't make very clear. You've got to make sure it's a stereo track if you've got effects. So, for example, if I was doing my Brahms, they've got a reverb and delays. You wouldn't hear it on a mono track. So, what you need to do is go here. You can see this little circle here. If you click that, that's now a stereo out, a stereo audio track. Okay, not 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 just a um, mono track. So that's how you change from mono to stereo, which is really unclear. Like it, it's not just like you can you know click here new audio track or new stereo audio track. So so yeah, I just wanted to make this as a quick little tip video for you guys. I hope it was helpful if you're ever trying to do this. And let me just show you quickly why I'm doing this, what it's going to sound like. So basically, the reason I'm doing this is so that I can record loads of different variations of this same sound with different parameters within Serum into audio, printed into audio, then I'm gonna save them, move them onto a different audio track, and from there I'm gonna, you know, basically pick my favorites from that big recording that I do. I'm gonna pick my favorites, and those are gonna be the Brahms that I use. And then from there, I might do further processing, that kind of thing. And it just doesn't just apply to Brahms, this can be to any kind of synth thing that you wanna do. You know, you could be doing uh, drums or whooshes or anything like that, any kind of trailer sound design stuff or any kind of synth stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys found that helpful. I'm gonna do a bit of recording now just to 
play out the video and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful, let me know and I'll see you in the next video.